I've been so deep in my content and cooking bag. I definitely forgot I owe y'all this. So here we go. I decided a few weeks ago I was going to home make focaccia. I didn't even know what focaccia bread was until I decided to make it. And I saw this other creator on Instagram make it super simple. And I went and followed her recipe. This is how we turned out. It was so good. I ate this bread all week. I'm almost sure I gained three pounds eating this bread. But it was so good. And it was so simplistic. Like, this was a very easy recipe. It was um, your normal bread materials, your normal bread ingredients. Started off with a pack of yeast. Um, it's about two and a half tablespoons of yeast per packet. So that's what I used. I used, I want to say it was two to three cups of flour for this. And then some water, some olive oil, and some salt. That's it. Super simple, right? Uh, I did mine in this glass bowl. Honestly, use what you have. I also have a KitchenAid that I chose not to use. And I've, I've really been trying to be more authentic in my cooking. And uh, I just, it's something about doing it by hand these days that get the girls going. And so after I mix this up really good, um, clearly you can still see the flour in the sides of the bowl. And I was really trying to incorporate all the flour in the bottom of that bowl very well and uh, get it all situated properly, right? And uh, yeah, this, this part takes a little while. But after I got it mixed in really, really well, I went and covered it, let it rest for about an hour, I believe, on top of the oven so that it could rise here you have it it has risen now i don't like messy but here we are um <laughs> i really don't like my hands nasty or anything yet here we are you have to fold the dough into itself and uh it just creates the air pockets in the dough and overall the structure of the the bread itself will be porous and You'll be able to see like the craters in the bread, if you will. It's a very light, fluffy, airy bread. But if you do it the right way, which is why all the steps matter, obviously. Now, could I have done this in a pan? Yes, but me and my cast iron go together real bad. So that's what I used. Uh, I went ahead and put it in the cast iron, which I I did my steps backwards and it didn't make a difference, honestly. Uh you're supposed to let it rest in the pan first and then add your olive oil on top. But I dimpled my bread, added my olive oil, added my toppings, and then let it rise. It didn't change anything. Um, it, it still tastes the same. It like still tastes fine. It wasn't a huge difference. I couldn't tell at least. So that matters. That's what matters most, me. All right, so the dimples are in the bread, right? And I just had some dried rosemary in my pantry, um, in my cabinet. And so I just went in with olive oil and added uh, some dried rosemary. And honestly, you'd be surprised how well the flavor stuck out. And usually I don't like dried herbs. I'm just not a dry herbs kind of girly. But this actually came out very, very well. I will honestly say that. Um, you could taste it in the bread i was again eating this bread for a week it was amazing and so this touch i was very very happy with now this is what it was given after it came out the oven and the one thing i wish i had have done was toast it for a little bit longer just a little bit longer not a lot but i'm really happy with the results it was so good. And you know what I did on top of that? I made a sandwich because why the hell not? All right, we got to get into this sandwich, right? So I threw some butter in the pan and we're going to toast it. Toast both sides, right? I did a steak sandwich. I bought chimichurri from Traders. It's actually my favorite chimichurri right now. I'm not going to cap. Uh, it's so good. Like, it's just so good. I put a nice little toasting to my bread because obviously that matters steak was medium rare because y'all know how i get down i homemade this garlic aioli and i bought some black garlic from traders it comes in a, a little glass jar it literally says black garlic i put that in there i want to say obviously i put some garlic in there it's so good i seasoned it really well so good homemade aioli i always get down like that 
I will be doing my own chimichurri the next time. I just haven't made the time to do it. But maybe I'll add that as a recipe this next week coming. Topped it with some arugula. I don't know. Me and arugula go together real bad these days. Like, I can honestly say I fucks with the arugula these days. Um, t- Put my steak on. Y'all know how I get down. The more, the merrier. Now, here's the fun part. I added cheese and I had Monterey Jack. So that's what I added. I didn't have provolone, which was really depressing. I paid for this torch. So I'm going to use this torch and not to just like my candles and this touch like, oh, this, this sandwich was so good. Like, I wish y'all could understand how good the sandwich was. I pickled my own onions. Yes, I do that because what can't I do at this point? I don't know. When I figure it out, I'll let you, you guys know for sure. Of course, we added more chimichurri because, again, this is what? My favorite chimichurri. Trader Joe's. It's like three bucks. It's so good, guys. Like, please try it. Topped it off with lemon because you have to. At this point, the only option is to add lemon on top. Go in with my salt. And listen, top off that bad boy. Cut into that bad boy. This sandwich was so good, guys. Like... Me telling you doesn't do it justice. Just watch. I do a lot of things good, but this? God. Mm -mm. She fucking this shit up. I, in fact, did fuck it up. It was so good. Hands down.